Doctor Who, The Ice Warriors, Episode 6 I know in the control room, Garnett. Coordinates for area of red one, O, O, eight, one, nine, three vertical, eight, five, eight, one, eight, on o lateral, parallel, lateral shift, controls are set, client, unintelligible, under the rising sound of the nose. The chandler stop, drops part way in the ceiling, plaster falls. The chandelier drops part way and the ceiling plaster falls. Walters, the recording records wing is gone, it's demolished. Client, we're under the attack, report, Vega, or monitor. Leader, client, surrender or die. Client, what is it in the blazes? Vega, or monitor, surrender now or blast your base to fragments. Client, no, I refuse, you cannot destroy us. Vega, monitor, you do not believe me? Very well, must I fire again? Garnett, we must play for time. Waters, the building won't stand much more. The bombardment, sir. Plant, and we should, must talk. Who am I addressing? Vega or Monitor. My name is Vega. Do you surrender? Plant, now, frankly, you will gain nothing by destroying us, Vega. We both have urgent need. I agree to talk, but nothing more. Vega Monitor, no treasury. Treasure, treasure tea. Uh, if I... If I come in peace, there must be trust between us, client. Very well. There'll be no traps or conditions, Vega or Monitor. See that you keep to that. If you if you lie, transmission ends, Garnet. What does he want? Waters. Our guards won't stand a chance to get weapons like that, sir. Client. You heard what he said. No treachery. Only trust. Garnet, can we trust him? Garnet. Client. I don't afraid we have to. He's got the best argument on his side. That gun... It, it, or whatever it is, Garnet. We can't bluff him, though, no, no. Client Helm. Garnet. He doesn't know the computer's commands to wait. You can threaten to destroy the glacier and his ship with it. Client, yes, 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 possibly. Waters, well, why can't we do it, sir? It's our only chance to survive, Garnet. You know the computer's decision and its reasons, Waters. I know all about it, but it doesn't exactly give much thought to us, does it? Garnet, the computer thinks of everything, considers all the answers. What is it supposed to come up with the answers, isn't it? Well, if that look good it's doing to us, do, it's doing us now. Wait, it says wait. You could lace on the one hand, the worries on the other. Well, what price for your computer now? Water, client, waters, waters. What we need is someone like Penley, or that doctor. Someone who can think. Or not with a machine, and what goods are your precious computer done anyway? Nothing. Nothing but trouble. It's time somebody put a stop to it. Would raise his arm to smash a panel. If a piece of debris and gone it, shoots him. Space craft. Victoria, that's Vega's voice. Doctor, shh. Vega monitor. We are going in now. Vega, we must escape. Doctor, it's not a question of escape, Victoria. You got to take some action. It is this gun that's given Vega control of the base. Without it, it is hopeless. Victoria, what can we do? Doctor's open a panel up by the gun control. I know is a control room. Three ice warriors enter. Plant, well now, gentlemen, you said no traps. We all, we for our part made utterly sure there would be, there are no traps. Vega, I had made a promise. I merely warned you not to trick me. Got it? How can we talk, help you? Vega, I will tell you what I want, and you will give me give it to me. Client, oh, come now, Vega. That's not the way to talk. You're both of us in a very difficult situation. At times like this, it beholds us both to proceed with mutual respect. And because the whole and because the whole world could be, what is as welcome and is reaching for his weapon. I swear that the warrior kills him. But you so much for your word, client. That was, that was, that was not planned. Vega, I had one major requirement. The Mercury isotopes for my space ships, for my ships reactors. You, you will give them to me. The client, we don't, we don't use vertical isotopes. Vega, the doctor started, stated that you had them here. 
Very kind. Well, he was wrong. We didn't have none. They know you were lying. Kind. What good will it do to me, Vega? Tell me what it have. Tell me what would happen if we halted your reactor in order to remove the fuel elements we need. Right. You can't do that. Vega, why? Client, the reactor goes uh, gives us light, heat, and power. Gunnet and the powers it powers the ionizer. Vega, so without it, you will be completely helpless. Client, in Arctic conditions like this, we should we soon perish. Vega, whereas we would not. Client, we have not. We be you'll be wasting your time. The reactor does not use mercury. Vega, I do not believe you. Try it, but you must. Spacecraft, Vega, a monitor. This is only. There is only one way to find out. Reactor, where are the reactors' controls? Tell me. Victoria, do you hear that? Making them shut down the reactor. Tell you, yes, this is Vega's main weapon. There's just a, there's just a chance I can turn it against him. Victoria, what? Doctor, if I can open these doors. There we are, come on. That's your cave, Doctor. Now careful, just stay there. How does this gun operate? Victoria, oh hurry, Doctor, hurry. I know he's a control room client. You've got to believe me, Vega. So you say, client. Listen, Vega. Power source is locked in directly with the ionizer. Now, if we cut the power before it's safe, the feedback effect will blast the building into a state of iron flux. Iron flux, Vega. What is the temperature range? Glad we can melt rock. Don't interfere with it. It's fully primed, Vega. It can melt rock. What a weapon. Glad it's not a weapon. It's a scientific instrument. Vega, I see it differently. Plant is still a highly dangerous machine. Vega, this, then run it carefully down to safety level. But no tricks. You can do it now. Plant. It will take some time. Garrett, it will take some time. Vega, does it matter? You dare not use it anyway. Plant, what? Vega, the doctor's friend talked. I have to know your fears of my spa- of my spaceship. It explode if the heat got- is too great. Plant, would it? Vega, close it down and you'll die, client. She's the only qualified, only person qualified to disconnect the ionizer safely. Vega, what are your qualifications for assistance? Client, I am leader here. Vega, you are less valuable to me than your colleague who has, has certain skills, client. But you don't know anything, everything, are the answers that you require. Vega, I know you all I need to know. If I killed you, be no great loss to me, client. Client. No, please, Vega. Then you will do as I say. Run down that machine as quickly as it's as safe as possible. No more tricks at once. Go to the cave. The doctor's got the guns. Got in the gun circuitry. Victoria, what are you trying to do? The doctor, well, it's a little difficult to explain, Victoria. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold this for me. Will you? This gun works on the basis that sound waves we produce reverberations in the object of their path. Victoria, the objects vibrate in sympathy. Well, I know. My father told me once. Do yes, doctor. Yes, that's right. Well, if we can produce some specific vibrations, damage results. Doctor, Victoria, v- d- damage. Oh, like a singer breaking glass. Doctor, yes. I want. I want to be able to get to the worries without affecting the scientists too much. Now, if we change this, f- the frequency to frequency seven. Doctor, well, Victoria, what will that do? Doctor, well, primarily, uh, it affects fluids. Victoria, what good is that to us, Doctor? Well, I believe that Victor, Vega and his warriors have a greater fluid content than human beings that there. Victoria, if it works, what happens? Doctor, well, that's just, that's just it. I don't know. Victoria, oh, look now, Doctor. Doctor, but I do know. That whatever effect he has on the scientists, it have a far more greater one of the warriors. Spacecraft, Dr. Victoria. Well, how's that? Victoria, Doctor. Well, apart from the fl- fluid question, the helmets will trap, intensify the sound waves, Victoria. You mean you knock them out? Lead the scientists a bit dizzy? Well, is that it? Doctor, well, that's what I'm hoping. But there is a, it's just a bit vague risk that I, it'll kill everybody. Client and Penley included. Victoria and Jamie, Med- Medi Control Center. Jamie and Penley are lying on trolleys. Penny waves and checks. P- Jamie then leaves. Jamie wakes. Ionizer Control Room. Garnett. It's done, Vega. Is it safe now? Garnett. Garrett. Garrett, yeah, it's done. Vega, it's safe now? G- 
done it. Yes, it's just ticking over. Not even holding the ice to check in check at all. Bigger, this continent is complete now. We must move quickly before the glacier surge does more, so much more damage. Glad you regret this, Vega. Vega, at least I will live to regret it. Now we have to shut it down quickly. Penny's watching through the open doorway. He crosses the thermostat. He crosses to the thermostat in the corridor. Penny, perfectly at home in ice age conditions. Well, we soon change all that. Penny moves temperatures to maximum oxygen to minimum, humidity to maximum. Vega, shut it down at once. The heat. What is happening? Is something wrong? A heat haze rises. Vega, you're trying to trick me again. For that, you'll die. Spacecraft, Victoria. No, no, it's too dangerous. Doctor, it's a risk we must take, Victoria. Victoria, oh, Doctor, now cross your fingers. Here we go. I know there's a control room. A sonic gun is fired. Everyone clutches their head in pain. Client screams at ice rides, beat at their helmets at the, as the humans pass out. Spacecraft. Doctor Vega, this is the doctor. You are going to retreat or I shall fire it again. Trouble is, if it, is I dare not use it again. It hasn't killed them already. And they were firing, most certainly will. They answer me or I'll fire again. Outside the eyes, there's a control room. Ice warriors stick out. Vega, you'll die for this. Spacecraft, Victoria. Spacecraft, Victoria, what are you doing now? Doctor, get back, Victoria. Victoria, what? Doctor, stand by for fireworks. Here we go. The doctor touches two wires together and the sonic gun control panel explodes. Doctor, now quickly, let's get out of here before they come back. Later, while on, all the humans are still out cold, Zodo wakes. Vega, this gun is useless. Outside the ionizer, ionizer control room. Doctor Victoria, see if you can find Jamie. Victoria, Jamie, Doctor Jamie is in there. He's alive, Doctor. I oh, thank goodness for that. Now we get back to the TARDIS and close the doors. Doctor weighs the remains of the aluminium sofa out of Penny's nose. It wakes him. Doctor, sorry about that. Up you get. Come along, Penny. What happened? Did you do that? Doctor, no time for questions. Come along. Baseball, Vega. So you allow them to trick you. Donald, I wait your punishment, Commander. Vega, we have no time. Everything depends on being ready to break free from the ice as soon as they, op- they evaporate it. I know he's a control room. Doctor, up you get. Come along, Miss Garrett. Garnett. You, there you are, Garnett. Oh, the ionizer, they made me disconnect it, Doctor. They must be switched on again immediately. Garnett, I don't take orders from you, client. Miss Garnett, if I, if we are to obey computer control, it must be reconnected, so do so, please. Garnett, yes, of course. Doctor, client, a spaceship, a spacecraft is powered by ion reactor. Client, well, that means we dare not use ionizer for false. That's our last chance gone. Penny, why, for heaven's sake? Client, because it's because of the risk, man. You know what that would happen. Doctor, of course. There is a risk, but it's a risk we must take. It's the only way. Penny, exactly. Client, the computer says no. Penny, the computer. Client, it's, an, it's our supreme advisor, Penny. And what sort of advice is that? Do nothing. Client, Garant. Garant, you must obey, Penny. We must be destroyed. Has the computer considered that? Client, the computer considers everything. Doctor, but that's why, in this case, you cannot rely on its judgment. Garnet, we trust the computer. It's our strength and our guide. Doctor, no, not, not, doctor, not this time. Jamie, well, why not? Doctor, because Jamie, the computer is faced with an insoluble problem. Either way, it is destroying itself. And, it, and this it cannot do. It must play safe, Jamie. I, but if it does nothing, that's just as bad, doctor. I explained to you, if, and you, to you another time, Jamie. Penny, there's only way one way out. Client, what? Penny, we must. I read a computer. Client, client, client. Gun it. We can't do that. Penny, we must. This decision for man, for man to make. Not a machine. The computer doesn't design. Take risks. That that is the essence of man's progress. We must decide. Client, but if we do that, we soon ruin the whole plan. All nine those bases must act together through well, computer control. If we act as soon as bad, if we, do, if we act too soon, it's bad being too late. Penley, yes, I know that. But the other bases haven't got a glacier right up on top of them, apart from what the, about these ice warriors? If they live, 
If they threaten our entire civilization, that decision must be taken quickly. Client, I can't. Garrett, I daren't. Dr. Penley, it's up to you, Penley. Well, client? Client, I reserve the right to consult the computer. Penley, go ahead. Client problem. Space, any spacecraft is powered by an iron reactor. Dare we, all u- dare we use ionizer? What are the alternatives? The computer spins and good jibbers. Do we? It is though, it's gone mad. Doctor? Well, Penley? Penley, well, we use ionizer at full strength to turn back the iron gas here. Miss Garnett, inform our council. Jimmy, but the spacecraft ship, if you release it from the ice, Penley, you will, at full strength, the ionizer will melt rock. Spacecraft ship, zonal command, zonal commander, the ice is breaking up. Soon we'll be free, Vega. What uses our freedom for our helpless? Our engines must still, must still dead. Zedel, I am not yet, I am not giving up yet, Zod, Vega. No, there must be some sort, some life left in the elements. Zedel, command and power. Zedel, what? Zod, Vega, what? The ice is our friend. You must still have power. Zedel, shall I increase it? Increase it? Zod, Vega, carefully. You must take time, time. We must time full takeoff. Boost perfect, perfectly. Zedel, and then we are free in flight, and we are invincible. Ionizer control room. Client instrument readings on glacier face. Uh, glacier face shows steady sight rise in temperatures and near to maximum. Jamie, well, what do we do now, client? The instruments on the ice face have the highest heat and shock resistance known to man. When they are. They cease to function. Everything about them will be destroyed, client. You've risked. You're wrong, client. You're wrong. You're wrong. We'll all be killed. Penny is safe. I'm willing. Uh, I'm willingly take. Penny slides the control down. Pass generator. Circuit lock. Energy feed is to activate a spacecraft. The spacecraft is full of smoke. Vega is not the power. It no. It has no power to the engines. So it is. It has. It was. It was heat. Heat from the ionizer. Instruments burst into flames. Ionizer control room. The seismograph shows a big, small blimp. Got it. Only in my explosion we're safe. Dot oh, goodness me. Penny, set all circuits to automatic. Miss Gannett, I tie in with the world ionizer information. Client, you check those readings with me and you report. You have a report to pay, haven't you? Like, yes, 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 I have, Penny. You are the most insufferable, irritating, infuriating person I've ever had the privilege to work with. Penny, thank you. Like, can't write a report, though, can you? Something i got to do for you. Well, don't worry. It's something I've been fain, trained to do, Penny. Without the computer, client. Now, Penny, I always read in my own speeches and my own reports. Penny, we're going to... Oh, Penny, are you going to include? Well, where's the doctor? We hear the sound of the TARDIS dematerializing.